In the meantime, we'll be crossing over to the headquarters of the NDC, where we are told that the NDC's um, leadership are about to address the media on a number of issues they also are, are raising. So we are, are yet, we'll be crossing over shortly. We have Komla Kluche, who has been on the campaign trail of John Dramani Mahama, the flag bearer of the NDC. And then also uh, we have some other reporters at the NDC headquarters proper. We'll be also going to the Ashanti region. We are told that hundreds are pouring out onto the streets to jubilate, specifically Bantama. When we spoke earlier to William Evans Income, he mentioned it and uh, said that uh, it's going to trigger a lot more jubilations across the Ashanti region. So we're going, uh, before we bring you what's happening in the Ashanti region, though, let's go to the NDC headquarters where they are addressing the media. seven out of the nine. That is overwhelming victory of the Western North region. Sashi, you also, we won. We have since heard that they are trying to surreptitiously get the military men to get the EC to recount a resource that has already been declared. And we are ready for them, waiting for them there. They should go. And there. Juaboso, we won. Bodhi, we won. Swamai, we won. Awin, we won. Bia West, we won. And Bia East, we won. This constitutes seven constituencies out of the nine. Now, almighty Ashanti region, they said we are going to lose the three seats that we had. But this election has shown that the resolve of the people cannot be taken away from them. We won four major seats in the Ashanti region. Ejra Sechra Dumase, we won. Sechra Afan Plains, we won. Asawase, we won. And New Edubiase, we won. So out of the 47 seats in the Ashanti region, we won four. Bear in mind that there was an independent candidate from Formina who also won. So you can do the mathematics and see what the the becomes of the opponent's votes in the Asante region. Savannah region. There are six constituencies in the Savannah region. Sorry, seven constituencies in the Savannah region. We won four, and that is majority seats when you consider Savannah region alone. We won Sola Tuna Kaba. We won. We won Bole. Bamboy, Salaga South, we won. Yape Kusogu, we won. That comes up to four seats in the Savannah region. I'm sure you are doing the mathematics. Now, the Northern region. The Northern region has 18 seats. We did champagne in the Northern region. We won nine seats out of the 18. Pandai, we won. Wulensi, we won. Saboba, we won. Savelugu, we won. Bear in mind that this first four constituencies that I've mentioned was originally held by the MPP. So these are flipped constituencies. Tamale Central, we won. Kumbungu, we won. Sagnerugu, we won. Tamale North, we won. And Tamale South, we won. That is the seeds that we are holding in the northern region. Now, in the upper east region, the Upper East region has 15 constituencies. We won supermassively, garnering 14 seats out of the 15. This, we believe, is monumental, and it tells a story. China Paga, we won. It's a flipped constituency. Navrongo, we won. It's a flipped constituency. Busa South, we won. Busa North, we won. Bongo, we won. Borga Central, we won. Borga East, we won. Nabdam, we won. Garu, beyond all the challenges, we won super massively. Timpani, we won. The Deputy Attorney General, Minister for Attorney General and Justice has fallen. Penka, he's falling very flat at Timpani. So, Timpani, we won. Pusiga, we won. Boko Central, we won. Talensi, we won. 
Zabila, the man has returned. Honorable Cletus Avoka. Now, this comes up to 139 seats. As we all know, 30 months out, which we originally won, they have sent military men, they have threatened the EC officer, they've created chaos, they've shot three people. I hear, I hear is it two, two are dead. Seven are in critical conditions, which means that they shot even more than three people. They created chaos. They, they, at gunpoint, they had to get the electoral commission to re collate the results and re engineer the results in the favor of the MPP. Let me make this point very emphatically, without equivocation, that we are going to pursue Techiman South to the hilt. We have won that seat. And no matter what we will do to get the writing and the mandate of the people of Techiman South to be respected by the Electoral Commission, we are going to do that. They have since done the same in Takwa constituency. Takwa Swaim is a constituency we know we won. We won super massively. All pink sheets were available. Only for us to wake up, they have sent military men and policemen at gunpoint, threatening the returning officer, and he has declared them winners of that constituency. They recounted the constituency five times, and I'm sure most of you are very abreast with the laws of election. If you want any recount, you can do any number of recount at the polling station level. If at a point, the officer, the presiding officer, decides that he can't count anymore. He will make you fill a form, which will be attached to the box. Then when it gets to the coalition center, it will be counted. So the law stipulates clearly that at the coalition center, you do not do any counting of, of, of ballot papers. But we have the case whereby with the use of brute force, with the use of illegal brute force, they got the presiding officer at the Takwa and Swahim constituency to breach the law, to breach the CI 127, to count that ballot box five solid times. Each of the four times that they counted, the NDC was winning. Until finally they did another counting and there was magic. Ballot papers came from nowhere and the MPP have won that constituency. We are making this point clear that we are not accepting that resource in Takwa and Swahim constituency because for the first time the people of Takwa and Swahim have spoken and they've spoken very loud on behalf of the NDC and they gave that seat to us. So we are going to pursue every means possible to make sure that the true will of the people of Takwa and Swahim prevails. <laughs> Having said that, it is clear that the NDC has won majority seats in parliament. And we are all well good to form a majority side of parliament with a speaker and with a majority leader. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, you are asking about Upper West, OT and water. In fact, OT, we won 100%. All the nine constituencies, all the eight constituencies, we won everything. OT was 100%. Then Upper West, out of the 11 seats, we won nine out of the 11. Is it nine or eight? Eight out of the 11. So that tells you the strength, the support that the people of this country has given to the NDC in this all important election. As we said, as we said, we were on a rescue mission. And this rescue mission runs at the core of the survival of the very existence of our own beings. And for that matter, that is why everybody got involved in this election, voted super massively for President John Dramani Mahama and our parliamentary candidates. Let me use this opportunity to thank all Ghanaians 
our supporters, our pooling agents, our coalition agents, the international observers, the local observers, the media, for the support that you gave us in delivering this most successful campaign and most successful and sweet victory in the 2020 elections. We are very gratified by the support. We are gratified by the vigilance that our people continue to exhibit on the field. But let me make the point very clear. It is not over until it is over. It is not over until we compel Jin Mensa and the Electoral Commission to let the true will of the people prevail. So whilst at it, it is important that as they've started mobilizing state security and off-state security to threaten returning officers, to threaten EC officials, to get them to change resource, we must show them that the power of the people has always reigned supreme. And for that matter, no amount of guns, no amount of weapons, no amount of intimidation, no amount of order from above will prevail beyond the power of the people. And the only way, ladies and gentlemen, that we can exemplify the power of the people is to mass up in our numbers, in our multitudes, at the coalition centers where they are finalizing the coalition, whether regional level, constituency level, or national level. We would open our eyes, we would increase our lenses of vigilance, we would follow through. Already, we have caught them. They have tried to smuggle some unusual pink sheets into the, the, the coalition center at the national coalition center. And our agents there have exposed them. We shall continue to be vigilant. We shall ensure that the true will of the people will prevail. We shall resist in no uncertain terms and without equivocation any attempt by the President Akufuado government to suppress the will of the people, to subvert the will of the people, to steal the mandates of the people with criminal collusion with the EC. Let me repeat. We shall resist. In no certain terms, we shall resist. I'm stating without equivocation that we shall resist any attempt by the Electoral Commission and President Akufuado to steal the mandate of the people. <laughs> Whilst at it, let me use the opportunity to call on the outgoing president, President Akufuado, to as a matter of importance and agency, concede defeat that he has lost the 2020 general elections. <laughs> Let me repeat. Let me repeat. Let me use this opportunity to as a matter of agency and importance call on the outgoing president, President William Akufu Addo, to concede defeat in the interest of our sovereignty, in the interest of the sanctity of our democracy, in the interest of the very people that he claimed he wants to fight for. He must concede defeat, and it's very important. Let me also use the opportunity to call on all international observers, Let's call on all religious leaders. Let's call on all traditional leaders. Let's call on all development partners and our friends in the other political parties to impress on President Akufuado to do the needful.
This is your election command center, and that is Peter Boama Otokuno, who uh, is the Deputy General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, addressing the media there at the headquarters of the party, saying, uh, actually repeating the words of John Dramani Mahama, that they will resist uh, any attempt to subvert the will of the people, and um, says that uh, they are actually asking their party supporters to widen their vigilance lenses. All right, so those, those are the, the, the words that they have uh, put out. They will not be repeating some of the other words because, I mean, uh, clearly we are actually uh, the platform that has been asking for peace and calm. And from the way things are going, we are going to just leave it for the Electoral Commission to declare. And we'd rather you stay with your election command center as we monitor events for you. You don't necessarily have to be out there. Stay with us on our various social media platforms.